Welcome back to the Five on Five. My guests joining me live, Congressman Walden and Congressman McCarthy. Thank you once again, gentlemen, for joining me. We'll start with you, uh, Congressman Walden. Here in Oregon, touring, talking about small business. Right. What are some of the things that uh, you're pushing to help bring the small business back here? You know, there are a number of things. First of all, we talked earlier about repealing these onerous requirements, and we're working on some other regulatory reform in Washington that's holding back investment in Oregon on biomass plants and other things. Um, and then you're going to see us move forward on a bill called the RAINS Act. And the RAINS Act is, is designed to require an up or down vote by Congress on regulations that affect the economy by more than $100 million. And there are a whole bunch of them right now in Washington. We've got to get accountability and control on these agencies and these rule writers. That's part of what's killing jobs in Oregon, whether it's the cement plant in Durkee that may go down or the biomass facilities that now are on hold. I mean, there are a lot of these things that if we, if we can get some certainty in the marketplace, there's a lot of money businesses sitting on right now. They don't know what the market looks like and how to invest because of government regulation. So we're working on those issues. And in California, uh, Congressman McCarthy, you're from an area that people probably don't realize is, uh, produces some oil. And right now it's gas prices in the news. What are your thoughts? Because um, is it uh, vi uh, fe feasible for Americans to move away from oil? And is that going to be a cause of problem there in California, Bakersfield? Well, we, we can't solve everything just with oil because uh, we only produce 7 million barrels in America a day, but we use 20 million. So we need to bridge that gap. We need to do all the above, much what the Republicans produce. But we can produce more oil in America. We get a lot shut out. Um, my area is actually an energy area because we have wind and solar, some of the largest. We have nuclear. We have geothermal. But we should do all that. The other thing is America is the Saudi Arabia of the world when it comes to natural gas. But there is a lot of regulation that's being shut down. There is regulations being shut down for our deep water, even offshore ability. And that is harming us because what's happening is Americans are still using the oil, but who we're paying? We're sending the money out of the country. Sometimes we're paying our enemies. And it's not getting the effect that if we spent it in America producing our energy. Well, you were speaking of uh, enemies, so to speak. Right now, the president called for uh, Gaddafi. He said, must quit and leave the country. Uh, I'll ask it, both of you. Uh, do you feel uh, you agree with him on that? What's your take on that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think the violence that he's unleashed on his own people is unacceptable. And, and what a joke that, uh, that Libya was still part of the Human Rights Commission at the United Nations. At one time, they let it, for gosh <laughs> sakes. I mean, this guy, it's time for him to go. It's time for him to go. And I think what you're seeing are, are, are people rising up against these dictators all over the world and saying, we want freedom which is something you know most of us most Americans certainly value and most people in the world want and seek and uh, I think you see major turmoil in the Middle East major change and these these uh, uh, Rough Riders need to go now the question is what are we doing behind that and what's the State Department the president have in terms of working relationships going forward because we do have national interests there and we just talked about one of them when it comes to oil. All right, well, I wish I had more time for uh, both to ask questions of both of you, but thank you once again for joining Good me. Good to be with you. All thank right. you. Thank, thank you so much. Congressman McCarthy. All right, that is it for the 5 on 5. More news right after the break.